I, when I was in my mid twenties, I worked for Rove for about six weeks. And oh, um, me too. Did you? Yeah. I got I got fired. But yeah, I me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, tr I tried so hard. I'd go in on my day I job, but <laughs> I, I just couldn't get it. And I would, and I, and I kept and, and I'd watch the other writers. And I'd go, okay, this is what they're doing. They're doing that, that, and so, and then I would write a sketch that I thought was doing what they thought was funny. And then the head writer, who was a great guy, called me and said, "Lally, this sketch you've sent us, do you think that's funny?" And I said, "No," and he said. Well, if you don't think it's funny, <laughs> no one's going to think it's funny. And he said, you might write something that's funny, and it won't be right for the show. But if it doesn't come from your instincts, no one's going to like it. And that was, like, that was worth the six weeks of working there to kind of find out. So I think, in a way, you just sort of have to, you, try, you, you know, you check with other people and stuff afterwards. But if you think it's funny, usually somebody else will too, I think. Mm, yeah, I, I, um, I write in a cave. And I, uh, years ago, I used to say, oh, yes, I care about my audience and I really, you know, try and write universal stories and have archetypes and da-da-da. And then about a year ago, after 18 years, I realised, actually, no, I don't care about the audience at all. I just write for myself. And I really, I just, oh, I used to try and make my dad laugh. You know, that was important because he was an old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, I, I, I really, my comedy comes actually from anger and injustice. If, uh, for me to sit down and write a screenplay, I have to be really agitated and, and feel that there's somebody's story that needs to be told and then the comedy comes out of the tragedy. So that's my formula. 